define the GCF, what the GCF does is tells us what is the greatest common factor. Remember, factors are numbers that divide into both of our terms, right? So they're numbers that divide into both of our terms. Those are your factors. So what we did in the previous example was we factored down, right, till its prime factors. So we took a number and we factored it down to its prime factors. And now what we want to do is kind of go back and see what is the largest number that divides into both of these terms. So the first thing I like to do is just compare my 18 and 48. What is the largest number that goes into 18 and 48? Yes, Chase? OK, 6 is one number that we're going to look through. And yes, 6 definitely goes into 18 three times. And 6 goes into 48. Um, 9, or no, um, 6 times 8 is 48. Right. And let's just double check, though, is that the largest? So I also know that 9 goes into 18. But does 9 go into 48? No. no. 18 goes into it. Uh, 18, but does the 18 go into 48? No, it does not. So therefore, you're correct. 6 is the largest number. Now, how do we find the GCF of t to the fourth and t? So let's just take a look at t and t to the fourth. First of all, is t a prime factor right now? Yes, yes right? Is t to the fourth a prime factor? No, that can be written as t times t times t times t. Right? Yep. So what would be the largest way that we could factor either between t and t to the fourth? What is the largest Where? number? Just t. Just t, right? There's only Because you can only factor t into t. You can't factor anything more than that, right? So the largest you can factor between t and t to the fourth is t. So therefore, your final answer is just 6t. But what does it mean t squared? It does, but it, cannot, it doesn't evenly divide. It doesn't evenly divide into t. Okay, I got you. Right? 